Hello everyone. Now we're going to show you how you can use the plastic card that comes with your ScanAvenger barcode scanner. It's really simple. It's really useful. You have some really useful codes in here. You have the sound on, sound off, vibrate on, vi vibrate off. So by default, when you scan codes, you can see that there's a sound. I can scan. I'm just going to tilt it like this. Just scan the sound off. And again, I'm scanning. And as you can probably hear, it just vibrates. Now I'm going to turn the sound back on. Again, when I scan, is on. Turn off vibration. Just scan this. Done. No vibration. I'm going to turn off the sound as well. Yeah, again, I scan codes. They appear on the computer, but no sound, no vibration. If I want to check the battery level, there is a battery level code in here. Just scan it and it tells me battery is at 60%. Yeah, so I scan this at any time just to check what the battery percentage is so I know if I need to charge it. Now, on the other side, we have synchronous mode, storage mode. Now, these two modes are really useful. Synchronous mode is the default mode, which means that when I scan a barcode, it just automatically pushes it to my device, either computer, tablet, phone, whatever it is. Storage mode is used when I want to upload a bunch of codes that I've scanned. So let's say I'm out of the range of the Bluetooth device or of the computer where the dongle is connected. I can just scan storage mode, scan once, and then I can scan a bunch of codes like this. You can see on my computer, just going to press enter a few times. And now I'm going to data, data upload. So once I do upload, you can see that all of the codes are just going there. Do it again. You see all of them just go there. Now I'm going to clear it. So there's nothing in the memory of the scanner. Yeah. If I do data upload again, nothing happens. Changing back to synchronous mode. Again, that's the default mode. When I scan things, they just pop up there. I'm going to turn on the sound again, turn on vibration and that's it. You also have another iOS keyboard hide out. This is to uh, turn on the keyboard or turn off the keyboard on your phone or tablet. That's pretty much it. Thank you.